hello and welcome to my youtube channel kevis in this video we are going to study reductions with diamide the lecture has been divided into four parts introduction mechanism reaction conditions for the generation of diamide and examples let's start with the introduction diamide is a reactive intermediate with the molecular formula N2H2. The structure of diimide can be written as HN double bond NH. There are two isomers, cis and trans. It reduces alkynes and alkenes to alkanes. During the reduction, the addition of hydrogen occurs in syn fashion, that is, both the hydrogen atoms are added from the same phase of the double bond. If we talk about the reactivity order, alkynes are the most reactive, after that alenes, which in turn are more reactive than terminal or strained alkenes. Substituted alkenes are the least reactive. If we talk about the relative reactivity of cis and trans isomer, in general trans alkenes are more reactive than cis alkenes. The only reported exceptions are cis and trans to butene. Mechanism Reduction of alkene or alkyne with diimide results syn addition of two hydrogen atoms. Based on this observation, it is supposed that the reaction involves concerted hydrogen transfer from the cis form of diimide to the substrate. This is the cis form of diimide and let's have an alkene as a substrate for the reduction. The concerted transfer of hydrogen like this will give six membered cyclic transition state which will collapse into nitrogen gas and alkane. Here we can see that the addition of two hydrogen atoms to alkene is in syn fashion. Reaction conditions for the generation of diimide. There are a variety of reaction conditions to generate diimide intermediate. It can be generated by the oxidation of hydrogen with O2 or H2O2 in the presence of copper 2 catalyst. Copper 2 chloride or copper diacetate can be used as a source for copper 2. Decarboxylation of dipotassium azodicarboxylate in the presence of acetic acid also generates diimide intermediate. It can also be generated by thermal decomposition of paratoluene sulfonyl hydrogide. Now we will discuss examples. Let's take the example of reduction of 2,2-dimethyl-3-methylene-narbornane with hydrazine in the presence of cupric chloride and oxygen in ethanol. We have just learned that under the given reaction condition there will be generation of diimide reactive intermediate. There are two phases of alkene for the attack by the diimide, top phase and bottom phase. Since top phase is less hindered, so diimide will attack preferentially from the top phase to produce 2,2,3-trimethyl-norbornin with the endomethyl group at position 3 as the major diastereomer and product with exomethyl at position number 3 as minor diastereomer. Reduction of Z 4 methyl hexa 3 5 diene 1 all with hydrazine in the presence of H2O2 in acetic acid. Here, in this case too, the given reaction condition will generate diimide intermediate. There are two double bonds in the substrate terminal and tri-substituted. 
we have already discussed that the terminal double bond is more reactive so diimide will add to the hydrogen atoms at this double bond to produce z 4 methyl hex 3 in 1 all reduction of diallyl sulfide this compound has a sulfur atom hydrogenation in the presence of palladium catalyst is not a suitable method for the reduction of this compound due to catalytic poisoning caused by the sulfur atom. But if we allow it to react with excess of tosyl hydrazide in ethylene glycol under heating condition, both the double bonds are easily reduced to produce dipropyl sulfide. Reduction of double bond of diinone with potassium azo dicarboxylate in the presence of acetic acid in dimethoxyethane. Let's label the carbons of diinone as alpha, beta, gamma and delta. There are two double bonds, alpha, beta and gamma, delta. Alpha, beta double bond is more conjugated because of delocalization of lone pair of oxygen from the methoxy group. Thus, gamma delta double bond with less delocalization is more reactive towards the reduction with diimide. Therefore, diimide intermediate will preferentially attack on gamma delta double bond to produce this epoxy enone. Reduction of 1-phenyl-1-methyl-aline by tosyl hydrazide in methanol under heating condition. In this aline, there are two double bonds, but we know that the terminal double bond is more reactive than substituted double bond. So, the in-situ generated diimide will attack the terminal double bond to produce this alkene. Finally, let's have an example of reduction of this idoalkyne with potassium diazo dicarboxylate to cis idoalkene. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.